Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms, and I'm here to do a property cleanup job. Got to level out a yard a little bit, remove a little bit of debris, and get rid of a stump. Now, I've been planning to bring the stump grinder, but this stump is pretty rotten. So first, I'm just going to see if I can push it out of the ground with the skid loader and save myself a trip. I'd probably be better off if I didn't tell you guys what I charged this customer, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. We'll cover that at the end of the video when you can see how much time I spent on it. I know that people are going to tell me it's nobody's business what I charge, and while that is true, I hope that this type of video gives perspective for people looking to do this type of work. As soon as I actually stepped on that, I knew it was not going to pull out with the skid loader, so went ahead and gave it a try. I'm going to go get the tractor, get the stump grinder, and we'll be back to get started. When I first got this stump grinder, I really had a hard time getting it on the tractor. And I've made a few modifications to the tractor and learned a few tricks. And every time I do it, it gets a little bit easier. Because the grinder uses both of my rear remote hydraulic outlets, I have to take the top and tilt kit off. I always talk about how much of a hassle it is to hook this up because it's so heavy and it's not quick hitch compatible. But I've done several things to try to make it easier. Today, I'm gonna try hooking the top hit link up first. I've never done it that way before. See if that makes it any easier. So, that's one more trick I figured out. First, it was propping the end up so I get a better angle. Then telescoping stabilizers, telescoping draft arms made it easier. And then I realized with it at that angle, if I hook up the top link first and pull, I can get the bottom in easier. That was a lot quicker than any time I've done it before.
I have done a lot of stumps in this size range with this attachment and pretty much have my routine down and it always has went pretty smooth sometimes it's harder if there's rocks in the stump but I didn't run into that today now, I had no idea what kind of tree this was I didn't even try to look at the stump and figure that out but as soon as I started grinding it was very clear that this is black walnut because of the distinctive smell that puts off now, some people hate that smell but I love it so made grinding this more pleasant. This is how I leave it after a stump grinding. That's sticking up six inches over the top. My assumption is that a year from now this will be flat or either have just a little bit actually of a sink in on it. If someone wanted to, I would haul this off and bring in fresh dirt and pack that down so it could grow grass right away. But I haven't found anyone yet who wanted to pay extra for that. My original bid on this job was quite a bit higher because I was offering to bring in some topsoil and really do a better job on this and I was going to bring the Harley rake and smooth it out but customer declined the higher bid wanted to just do the most basic service I could to try to level this out which is fine with me so I ended up charging $200 for the stump grinding and $300 to level this pad out. So it was a $500 day, and I was only here for less than two hours. But of course, it was a half a day's work when you count in all the setup and transportation. I had some audio of me talking about this front section of the job, but something was wrong with my mic because it was so staticky you couldn't really make out what I was saying. Basically, there used to be a trailer house sitting in this spot. It burned down. There was a bunch of glass, rocks, and debris that made this impossible to mow. He was mowing half his yard with a weed eater, and he just wanted that 
leveled out and then there was a hole around the back side and he wanted that filled in and I was able to do both of those jobs pretty easily with the skid loader. I could have done all of this with the tractor but I think I got a nicer finish by using the skid loader. Even though that meant I made an extra trip to bring a second machine, I felt like it was worth it to get a better finished look. I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. You should see links on the screen to a couple more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.